Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And remember, whatever sport you're betting on, we have you covered. We're talking about the NFL and we are at the midway point of the season now and there's only one team remaining unbeaten, which is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have a very easy game, which at least it should be, against the Dallas Cowboys this week, so we're not going to cover that. But we have five other matchups in store, so we're going to get started. But before we do, if you're not already a member, Please join up and you'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section with all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So let's scroll down through here and take a look at some of these games. The first matchup we're going to take a look at is the Baltimore Ravens and the Indianapolis Colts. The Ravens are coming off a tough loss to the Steelers, while the Colts improved to 5 and 2 with their second straight win. The Ravens have average status at the moment compared to the Colts at Burning Hot. You can see the Ravens are a road favorite at 1.64 to 2.28 odds. And the over-under on this one, you see up here in the corner, is at 44.5. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that right here, the Ravens are at plus 27, and the Colts are at plus 14. You look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams. Notice they haven't played in a regular season game since 2017, so that really won't come into play. If you're considering the over and under, take a look at the totals predictor, you see that the Ravens are playing in games tra trending well under the line. And if you look down here at the Colts, they are playing in games trending under the line as well, so expect a low scoring contest in this one. You want to see how stable the two teams have been, how well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status. You will see here that the Colts, and the Ravens are both very stable, 4-3, to three, which means they are very consistent with their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look here now. If the line has changed, let's look at the line movement. You can see it opened at 1.621. And you can see here that it's moved to, you can see it's moved up and down slightly, and it's back to 1.621. So it's basically right where it started from. So what, what I think is going to happen this one, I think it's going to be a relatively close, low-scoring game. Bet the under, and I think the Ravens will win. The Carolina Panthers at the Kansas City Chiefs. The Panthers are averaged down at the moment. They are 3-5 and five on the season after losing their last three. The Chiefs are burning hot. They are 7-1 and one on the season. You see that the Chiefs are huge favorites at 1.19 to 4.88, with an over-under of 52.5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the big difference, not surprisingly, as the Chiefs are up here at the top of the league at plus 30, and the Panthers have been stable over the last few days. They are at plus 12. Considering the over-under in this one, which we always like to look at, you can see that the Panthers are playing in games trending under the line. The Chiefs are playing in games trending over the line. That's pretty much of a wash. I would suggest not playing the over-under in this matchup. If you take a look here at the volatility oscillator, you see that the Panthers are not very stable, minus one, compared to the good stability of the Chiefs at plus three. So what does that mean? That means that the Panthers are not very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the line. Has the line moved much? Let's go down through here. We're going to take a look. At the line moved. There we go. So we see here the line movement. Uh, you can see here, there we go, the money line at minus 1.21, that was as of October 27th, you can see it has changed, it's now at 1.19, so you can see now that the Chiefs are even a heavier favorite than they were before. So what do we think is going to happen? Pretty much like the line says, it looks like the Chiefs have a very good chance of winning this game and winning it big, so I will go with the Chiefs. Chicago and Tennessee. We've got Denver and Atlanta, Detroit and Minnesota. We're not going to take a look at any of those games, but you can on your own time if you want to. We're going to look here at Houston versus Jacksonville. Why? You say both teams are 1-6. Well, the game is to avoid the basement in the AFC South. You see both teams are dead status at the moment. Jacksonville has lost their last six. Uh, Houston has a 1.31 to 3.46 road favorite odds with an over-under of 51.5. Look at the power ranking indicator. See both teams are near the bottom, not surprisingly, but Houston has a slight 4-1 to one edge in that category. 
You look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams. They have played this year, and Houston won easily at home by a 16-point margin. In fact, they have lost that they have won their last uh, several meetings. So you can see they've won their last five against Jacksonville. Considering the over and under, you can see Houston is playing in games trending over the line. Jacksonville is playing in games trending other, under the line, so it's a good not to bet the over under on this one. How stable have the two teams been? Take a look at the volatility oscillator. Houston is on the upward trend on that. They are at plus five. And also, Jacksonville upward trend, they are at plus two. So both teams are performing pretty consistently according to that favorite underdog status. And that trend will continue. I don't see any way that Jacksonville avoids and losing again. They're just not not good. They're just playing very poor, and I don't see that trend uh, reversing anytime soon. So let's look for Houston to win this one. New York at Washington, Seattle at Buffalo. That should be a good game. We're not really looking at that one, but that should be a good contest. Raiders and Chargers. Here we go. The Dolphins at the Cardinals. So the Dolphins come in burning hot, and so do the Cardinals. So both teams have been playing well. The Dolphins are 4-3 and three on the season. The Cardinals are 5-2, and two, and they have won their last three. You can see that the Cardinals are at the 1.51 to 2.6 one odds favorite, with an over-under of 47.5. Head-to-head -head doesn't really come into play because they haven't met each other since uh, December of 2016. But if you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Cardinals are on the upward trend going from plus 15 to plus 26. And you can see here that the Dolphins have been stable over the last couple of weeks, and they are still at plus 13. If you're taking a look at the over-under, Miami's playing in games trending slightly over the line. Arizona is playing in games under the line significantly. I would either avoid the bet, or you could possibly go under, but I definitely would not go over on this one. Let's take a look at the line here and see how the line has changed. Here's the money line, so we're going to take a look at the line here. So we got here, it opened at 1.461, and you can see here that it went down quite a bit. And let's go down here. It went down quite a bit to, what was this, at 1.549, but now it's at 1.51. It's slightly changed from the opening. It's actually a little bit more. Uh, going to be in favor of Miami, but the Cardinals are still quite a bit of a favorite in this one. I expect them to take care of business at home and win the game. And we have one more game we want to look at here. Through here. And it's going to be... And I skipped over it somehow. It's, it's going to be the Saints, here we go, the Saints and the Buccaneers. You can see here both teams are burning hot. The Buccaneers are 6-2 and two in the NFC South. New Orleans is right behind them at 5-2. and two. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Tampa Bay here is a little bit ahead at plus 23 to plus 17. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. New Orleans won the first meeting between the teams this season back on September 13th as a home favorite by a 34-23 score. If you look here in this one here, Tampa Bay is a 1.41 to 2.975 odds favorite with an over-under up here of 51.5. Betting the over-under should be a good bet in this one. Look at this. The Saints are playing in games trending well over the line. Tampa Bay is over as well. This should be a high-scoring shootout. Bet the over. You're looking at the volatility oscillator. You can see that the both teams are very stable, very consistent. Plus five for Tampa Bay, plus four for New Orleans. This should be a really good game as well. Let's go down through here. I want to take a look at one more thing. Let's look at the money line as we've been doing. How how much has it moved? Well, you can see here. Well, it was 1.51, and now look how much it's moved. It's moved all the way up to 1.41. So that's increasing the favorites for Tampa Bay. So it looks like Tampa Bay. Has a good shot of winning this one to even the score for the two teams this season. Should be a great game. So there you have it. Those are all the matchups for this week. Hope you enjoy the games this weekend. Happy betting and hope you do well. And we will see you next week.